Welcome to the Smartboard Revolution Global Virtual User Group Special Edition, the Smart Survival Guide. These are other things, Notebook 11 features. And the simplest way for me to do this, I thought, you know, I'd create this file to go through it. But the easiest way is that if you look here in the Help menu and go down to Tutorial, right there, that will open up. A tutorial file that opened up the first time that you start a new version of notebook this file always opens up by default first and every, you just close it and you go on and you never go back to it and it tells you here that you can come back to it in the help and look for it in the tutorial there but very few people do so we're gonna take a look we're just gonna go through here and take a look at some of the new features one of the new features of the new, new smart boards, and this is starting back with version 10.8, but you can swipe forward and back to go to the next page. So I'll explain that as I go. So we've already kind of taken a look at this in, the, in a previous video about the toolbar. You have your actions here, which correlates to up here. Uh, if you have smart response and math tools loaded then they will show up there then your other tools here right and the adaptive toolbar means as you select the tool this area is going to change so we're not going to go over that too much and you can still find additional properties so when you select something you can still go to the properties tab for object animation um, the page recording right your fill effects and your line style those are going to be ones that you change up in the adaptive toolbar but you can also get them here okay next page so for me to swipe I want to go forward Oops. There you go. So the thing that you have to kind of remember is think of it as turning pages in a book. Left to right, if you swipe, you're going to go back a page. If you go right to left, you're going to go forward a page. So now I'm on page three. The activity builder, I'm not going to go into how to build them right now, but you may come across files that you download that have these there will be a separate video on how to create it so drag and drop foods over the horse to feed it what do they eat oh I mean any horse would like candy right bring up and it bounced back cupcakes no how about carrots oh, okay so this horse this image is set to accept certain things and reject other things um, so that's from the add-on tab right here. Next page, you can put an internet browser into a notebook file. So you can insert a web page right into a notebook file. You don't have to go out, separate web browser. You can stay right in notebook to do this. So you go to your insert. So think about how do I get there? Well, you want to put something in. So that's going to be your insert menu. And then internet browser. Insert. So down here, you put in whatever web page you want. That's the page that it's going to go to. Then you have the pin. If you pin that page, that means every time you come back to this page, that will be the page that's up. And then the return to pin page, this one, will take you back to that page. So as you navigate through and you need to get back, it's kind of like your home button right? on, your, uh, on your web browser. And a pinned page is like your home page, right? the one that you go to by default when you open up your browser. Right? The CRAN tool, we kind of talked about this a little bit in the pens and writing. So when you pick up a pen, 
you tap that button there. Nope. So when you pick up a pen, your You pick up a pen, and here you can select your pen type, and here is your crayon. You've got the different colors. Run. Add to it. And select the colors. If you need a color that's not there, right, notice, here are your colors. So now I can make more of a pink. Also have your line style, so if you want to make it bigger, or finer, you can do that there as well. The next page, irregular shape fill. You couldn't do this before in Notebook 11. If you drew this shape, the cloud here and the lightning bolt before, you couldn't fill it with the fill tool, but now you can. So you've drawn, notice this is just an object. It's been locked in place. So this is just a drawing object. So now you can select in your tools, the fill tool, select your color, the opacity, and now you just tap inside the cloud. Okay, and now you want to fill your lightning bolt. So you select it, fill tool, color, and tap inside. Okay. So how would that work from start to finish? You pick up a pen, draw whatever to begin with. Make sure it's closed, otherwise the ink will bleed through. Then you can just select your color. tap. So that's new in Notebook 11. Select tool, we can drag a box around more than one if you're at the board. And now you simply grab one of them and move them back and forth. And now they become one object. If you want to ungroup them, just do the same thing. So here all three grouped. Shake it again, ungroup. So when you'll really want to be careful is if you're writing some text on the board. Right now, as soon as I do it, it's a single object and I can move it. But if you take it and you accidentally shake it a little bit, now oh, it's all separate. So now you go to move it and these are all separate lines. So just have to be careful about, oh, see I didn't even get it all that time. When you're working with text that you don't shake it too much, otherwise you're going to split it into all its individual lines. Reset page is another new feature. So from your page sorter, you can go to a page, page sorter tab. So there's your drop down menu. And then reset page. And it asks, do you want to go to the last saved state? can't undo it. You hit reset page, you're committed. So now anything that I did to change that page is gone. It goes back to the previously previously saved version. Fading ink. We've had in the past, we've had the magic pen where you can write and it will disappear after 10 seconds or so. But you can customize this now. So in the regular pen tool, you've got these eight presets. I don't know anybody who needs to use uh, purple, pink, dotted line. So that's the one I'm going to change. So again, this has to be done also in the actual properties tab. So. Come over here, select the Properties tab, the 
fill effect. Now first, I'm going to change my line style. I can change the thickness, the style, solid, start and end. You know, if you want your end points or arrows or whatever, just want a regular line. You don't put anything there. Uh, and I want it to be purple. So now on the fill effect, enable ink to fade out after you write and then you can select up to 12 seconds so you can make it faster or slower so now now that I've done that again look down here at the very bottom Oop. see it went away I better be quick okay down here save tool properties so now whenever I select this pen and I write I made this one 12 seconds so it's gonna take a while I have to keep talking here until it goes away but this will now disappear in 12 seconds so these are great for annotating things briefly quickly that you don't want student you know you don't want to have to erase later maybe you put up you know, a math problem and students have until that disappears to come up with an answer right whatever however you want to use it lots of different ways the sound recorder one of the best new features there is you used to have to go with a different program create sound save it as an mp3 file and then attach it now you can add sound right into the file down towards the bottom sound so now I get this I'm going to record a sound clip so I click that it doesn't start recording yet you can give it a name if you want otherwise it'll give it a predefined name and then start recording and what I've noticed is that you need to give it a couple of seconds keep watching until you see those numbers moving before you start talking otherwise you might miss the first second or two What's new in Smart Notebook 11? Stop recording. Preview it if you wish. And then I can either play by pressing the corner icon or the object itself. If it's something that you wouldn't expect to have a sound, then you probably want to use the corner object and then attach recording. So here it is right here there's the corner object so now when I click that what's new in the smart notebook 11 there you go it plays so that's fabulous for you to have a file and add audio directions for students right? you put up a picture you put up something and then having students add their recording at a, a center when they're using this file have students add the recording their thoughts whatever kind of like a, a voice thread or whatever but right there on that, that picture so those are some of the features in notebook 11 um, there are other pages to that tutorial file specifically if you have a smartboard 800 series that you could take a look at yourself and remember you can get that by going to the help menu up there and then selecting tutorial and that'll open up that file so each month on the smartboard revolution ning site smartboardrevolution.ning.com we host a monthly spurgvug meeting uh, where there's some kind of a trainer or presenter someone teaches us something new or reminds us of something we've forgotten about so you can go to smartboardrevolution.ning.com for the current schedule, when it will be taking place, as well as links to the previous recordings of the meetings. Thanks for watching. This is Matt Granger for the Spurgvug Smartboard Revolution Global Virtual User Group Smart Survival Guide.